Today we're spending a day in Bella Medina. We decided to look at a taxi. It cost us under 14 euros. The taxi ride is about 12 minutes in total. I'll see you there. We've just arrived now in Bella Medina. Um, I think we'll go for a, a drink first. I'll get a bottle of water. And I think we'll go on the uh, tourist trip. As you can, and there it is. Find out where we can catch that, and then decide what we're going to do for the rest of the day. We're heading now to the, the marina. The weather today is 35 degrees at 10 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, Susie, there's a supermarket here, you can get two bottles of water. Right, nice walk down to the marina. Gonna find out where to get the tourist train from. I think it's further down here somewhere. You see all the boats? The ferry goes from there, the blue stand, the starfish one, and the dolphin trip is the pink stand. Went to a restaurant. Along the marina. Quite cheap, actually. As you can see in front of me, the pizza, 8.9 euros. Quite cheap. Plenty of bars. It's very hot today. And we've got to try to find this tourist trail. Is. So we catch the tourist trains every 30 minutes. It costs five euros. Just wait for the train now. Have a ride round. And here it is. Spot on time. Where would you like to sit, Susie? Yeah, if you want. Be careful with that step. Turistico. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the tour train. Legs are up now for Sunday when England plays Spain. Just waiting now for the, the bin men to move before we carry on. Big 
real. Might have to try that later. The Great Mississippi Willow was built in 1924 in Iowa, USA and was the majestic ship at the time. It's 60 meters long and 20 meters wide, weighing more than 1,000 tons. It was propelled by twisting engines and could reach a top speed of 8 knots. And its access is only permitted to its proprietors who are doing it through the various methods. Here on the marina you can actually hire boats, you can go on boat trips. There is a dolphin trip, I think it costs 40 euros per person for two hours. Or you can go on a boat trip to Fringarola and I think it's 18 euros there and back. Señoras y señores, bienvenidos al tren turístico del puerto deportivo de Benalmán. Este puerto constituye el complejo portuario residencial más sorprendente de Europa. La característica... The artificial islands from the marina are a special attraction. The whole resort is integrated in a beautiful landscape. It was built on ground taken out of the sea, and it is about 270,000 square meters. It was inaugurated the 9th of October 1982. The marina has 1,140 mooring points for boats between 6 and 40 meters long. It has been twice awarded the best marina in the world, and it is situated in the heart of the coastal zone. This harbor offers hotels, restaurants, bars, terraces, discos, talking center, flea market, aquarium, nautical club, diving and sailing school. All year round, the marina throws up an extensive program of activities, including yacht trays, sport fishing matches, and diving activities. That's a nice beach. Also, if you want to go on the big wheel or the marina, it costs £10 for an adult and €6 for a child. The three small sail represent Benal Madena Coast, Sarroy and Mira and Benal Madena Village, and the large sail represent this beautiful port.
Right, we're coming to the end of our little train ride there. It just goes around the marina really, so it's a very nice pleasant trip. You see things around the marina, all the boats and whatever. It's well worth well worth the trip. For five euros you can't uh, complain about that. And we're gonna go for a walk around the common and uh, probably go for a drink first. I'll see you later. I'm onto the beach now from the marina. As always, you've always got your lucky, lucky men. I don't know if it's genuine or fake, but it looks good. Yeah, every football top there. Can't see a Bolton top. <laughs> So this is where you can rent kayaks and catamarans and body boards and things like that. And there's the prices and the times that you can hire them for. Like I said, it's very hot today in the 30s. You can even come for a massage on the beach. 60 euros for one hour, 30 euros for 30 minutes, even do your feet for 25 euros. I could do with a massage actually, but I'll leave that for another time. It's quite a long promenade, this, isn't it, Susan? Very nice. Plenty of bars and restaurants. You can have a few drinks along the way. There's something to eat, which we'll be doing soon. Plenty of lucky, lucky men, as, as you can see. Yeah, there's quite a few taxi points along the way if you just want to go to a certain point in the taxi. Prices are quite reasonable. There is lots of hotels along the promenade, right next to the beach. It's a hotel north to us. The prices are quite reasonable in the restaurants, as you can see. Baguettes, chicken baguettes, five euro seventy-five. Payala, thirteen euro. Quite reasonable prices. Really nice hotels along the promenade. Easy access to the beach. It's just been pointed out by Susan. There's a Barnsley flag hanging up on the balcony. Didn't bring my bottom flag today.
You also get free Wi-Fi in some of the bars on the beach. So come in handy if you want to send pictures home to your family. Plenty of cocktail bars, seafood along the promenade as well. Fish and chips, just under 10 euros. Cheapest chips, as they say. The only trouble is with some of these, they don't have toilets in them, do they? No, not all, no. The promenade at Benal Medina is approximately two kilometres long uh, from the starting point back at the marina. That's a Pezzo Spada here, this is where my mum and dad have been in both. We need to find somewhere we can have a drink and use the toilet, Susie, yeah? yeah. I put a price for a beer, it's 2.5 euros. But we have seen some, when we came last year, we did see some for a euro, didn't we? Mm. Still very cheap. And the price of food in the cafeteria and the restaurant is quite reasonable. Plenty of them. Yeah. That's one thing I have noticed here. And in Spain there's plenty of taxi ranks. There's also plenty of cash machines. If you want to change uh, along the promenade, if you want to change any English into Euros. Your favourite drink there, Susie? Mm. Sangria. Sangria. It's a very long beach, this, isn't it? Nice, though, isn't it? Very nice. Plenty of hotels along the promenade, easy access to the beach, right first. To let you know there is quite a few toilets along the beach which are free which comes in handy there is things for the kids to do you can do there is dodgems there as you can see Myself since I was a kid. This promenade, the beach seems to go on and on and on and on. Feel a lot longer than two kilometres. It's very nice, very scenic. Plenty of places you can stop off, have a drink, and something to eat. shortage in Spain right now. They've closed all the uh, showers on the public beaches. All right. This is the water shortage. Well spotted. So if you want a shower on the beach at the moment, you can't have one. It's because of the water shortage, the heat waves. It very rarely happens in England. Get my feet done. Look at the pub. 
person who'd have to do it. <laughs> I would like to massage your feet unless you had a shower. Nice little bars, isn't there, and restaurants, isn't there? Loads. It? Absolutely loads. You can just stop off any time you want, can't you? Chicken curry with any rice or naan, fourteen ninety five. Two pints, just under six euros. Two glasses of wine, six fifty. Two glasses of sangria, six ninety. I think it's quite reasonable. Plenty of restaurants. This is a Italian Mexican cuisine. Fish restaurants, all kinds of restaurants, and very reasonable prices too. Hey, fancy coming here then? Half for the chicken and chips for seven euros. Let's go in. Can't beat it. Yeah. I think I'm going to have a tuna baguette. What do you fancy? Chicken and chips. Chicken and chips. I think I'll have a San Miguel. Oh, San Miguel, definitely. <laughs> Every five minutes. <laughs> and I'm having a San Miguel. Cheers. Had a little rest. I had the tuna baguette. You had the half chicken and chips. Glass of sangria. San Miguel. 21 euros. Cheapest chips. And a nice little breeze. Oh, can we on doing the walk, are you? Yeah. Along the front. Enjoyed that little rest. We needed that, didn't we? Mm. The heat here now is tremendous. It seems to have got a lot of hot, why is it now? 35, 36. When it gets so hot like this, there's plenty of bars you can choose from. We can just sit down and have a rest and have a cool drink or a, a beer, whatever takes your fancy. Lost three pounds <coughs> in sweat. <laughs> it's so hot. I like the people going on the beaches where they can't just wash off. Watch because of all the heat waves now, this water wrestles.
so hot. If we stopped off at every bar, we'd be drunk before we got past six bars. It's that hot. I want to I feel as though I've walked for 25 miles, do you? Mm. Yeah, they're saying well, it's, it's not too bad. You have to keep stopping for a rest. Yeah, it's just the heat, isn't it?
Navidad. Sí, que es café cada vez. Es como Ah, pues buena idea. Very cheap, a brandy for two and a half euros. Coffee and a brandy for two and a half euros. Very cheap. Coming to the end of our day in Benel Magna, just having a drink before we head off back to our hotel for dip in the pool. So we've had a great day. It's a lovely place to visit. Nice lunch, a small trip on the tourist train, a lovely walk along the beachfront. Plenty of bars and restaurants. Loads of different bars and restaurants. But because of the heat there, we're going to call it a day. So, cheers. Ta-ra from me. Ta-ra from me. Ta-ra.